I love dumb movies. I'm Charles Alfred Kelly. I'm about to be watching. I'm about to be commentating on uh, my mom robs banks. If you're just like me, you like to and and really get into the movie. Make it feels like you're one of the characters. That's what I do. And that's what I did to mom robs banks. I'm going to start the movie here when the mother shows up looking like evil Sheldon. Sheldon with the beard, look at that. She's scoping out the bank looking for the hell yeah. She riding a bike wearing a dead husband's clothes. Alright, this is her first time with the get downs. She already, she feeling hot, boy. She feeling sweating. She's sweating in there. Look at her. Already looking suspicious. She can't help herself. Everybody knows her. She in the bank scratching and itching. Look at her shit. Look at her. Just nodded to somebody. Ain't nodded to her. And ain't nobody nodding to you. Ain't nobody looking at you. Look, it's her time to go up. Look at her neck twitch. She geeking right there in line. She can't help hey, herself. Welcome to United Metro Trust. How can I help you? Yeah, how can I help you? I handed it. I got a note for you. I got a gun in my pocket. You talk about bust your over here, right here. YMW on, on King Dave. Don't you, don't you dare. She got another note. <laughs> she bad. She got she got cards with her. She got cue cards with her. Sure you don't even know. That's evidence. That's a bunch of evidence. We're going to check your hand right here. You're going to jail. MT? Is that MT Bank? MT what? What type of establishment is that? I bet it was that easy to run out with these two idiots at the helm. Security guards. Look at them. Both stupid. They just point and click like they're at the edge of a goddamn ship. She riding back looking. Dumb as hell. Look, that's what she get. That's what I'm really foolish. I hear her. Look at that. Up the ass. A big ass backpack. That's all the money. Get the fuck hey. out of here. He got to Look, he got, now he got to call the insurance. You just. Hey, you just where are you going? Menace. Your bike is broken. Menace. Where the police in this town? Then she get back to the car in broad daylight. Put a goddamn bike and money away oh she a parent uh, way to go she get in the car just in the nick of time because look who rode past the sheriff not even police just sheriff that's white privilege right there this woman trying to heal do her job and her biggest op shows up ready right out of nowhere ready right to put you down look here she come her daughter asking a bunch of whole dumb ass questions Who's what's wise and ways trying uh, to get involved? Like nothing. Can I help you? No, babe, I she just heard something on the news about the bank being robbed. Now she got a lot of questions to ask. Mommy, did you hear it? You were next to it. Oh, did you hear about the bank robbery? Listen to this, man. She just needed to quiet up, right think about soccer, concentrate on her no, drills. She ain't got the mamba so, mentality. Um, she got the customer? Margaret mentality. Yeah. Sit on the stand. She's she gonna put her yeah, mother in jail. Okay? I'm fine, see, I'm see, it, fine. man, having kids is iffy because you don't, you never know, you never know who you breeding. The biggest op of your life. Opsmosis Jones, right? I'm underneath your nose. You know they they are. Oh, that's her father. He look like he's been pegged in a lumberjack match. Anyway, this is the plot of the movie, basically. He has a horrible addiction pro a gambling addiction problem. He took his sister's lunch money. He is he's the bottom of the barrel right, this this guy. He needs to find like a sensei to get him washing on and off. He needs to stop betting on the Spurs. That's what he needs to stop doing. No, she can't keep doing this because she sucks at it. She got that dumbass mask and she it's a small town. Everybody going to know who it is in the next bank robbery. She can't keep doing it. How many times she did it before? And she got the biggest op in there. April O'Neil ready to write everything down, give it to the police. Now she about to grab the money. And the, the villain of the whole movie is about to be revealed. Okay, the reason why the big scary dude that they need to rob banks for the reason why her son's gambling f with the Spurs, betting it all on the Spurs. This is the man, all right? He pull up in a gas guzzler, for one. So he's a fool in that regard. And he got this woman robbing banks. She hands him the money. Here. 
Now she's paying off a debt. This nigga gives her well a tip. Nigga, what is wrong with you, yo? Will you just add yeah, that to whatever my dumbass son so owes you, you, you fucking idiot? What is you giving me a tip for? If you want to talk about pillow talk, and I understand that, at least you land next to the woman. But nigga, what is, why did you bring your, your ex-wife up? What is wrong with you? I take, your kids need to be took from you. You don't need to see your children if you acting like this, dummy. You want to help me? Don't let my son play in your games. He's a grown man. He'll make his own decisions. And if it was your son, you, you just talking to my son him. like he a grown man. Sure. But you got his mother out here he robbing banks. What is? Are you an idiot? He can make his own decisions. I'm paying for his debts, man. He's just getting deeper and deeper in debt. You idiot. For you. This ain't nobody helping Understand? nobody. Cut him off. Good. All right, he about to slide. He about to slide another another job. You know she the worst. That mustache is the worst. I can't do this. Now it's by daughter's, daughter's school. school. She, this boy, bank. man. Like, how much does this man? Oh, whoa. Yo, but I, you, you, you slid of the banger. He's slinging a toolie. He, nigga, right. he just, she just told this dumbass nigga that this, this the bank is by my daughter's school. So what does he suggest? Bring a pistol. Bring that burner with you just in case. This man, yo, I swear to God, if you know a man like this, please contact your your local your local police department. We gotta put these people behind jail, behind bars in jail. We gotta we gotta take them down, man. Oops, look who showed up with that mustache to do another caper by her daughter's job. Scoping out the place, not suspicious. There's no padding here. Nothing to see here. This, this woman, I swear to goodness. Jail. What Yosemite Sam cereal box does she get that mustache from? Who does she think she fooling with that mustache? She better have a good lawyer. I don't know why she just don't sell that house. Have y'all seen the house? Sell the house. If it's this bad, sell the house. Move to a little na another neighborhood. Oh, we don't really get to see with how she did it. Because that cot was close, so she must have used the burner. Because now look at her. It don't ever go right with her, boy. She like, she playing grass up all of she don't, she don't got no plan, no strategy. She bumping into her own family member. Identification. CCTV all over the place. Fingerprints. You know she got the cue card. What is this bike bandit? Oh, look at that little duck down. You saw that little duck down? She had that circle button. Yo, every time she rob a bank, the police right there. White privilege. This is what they call getting away scot-free. Look at it. She taking a mustache, all fingerprints everywhere. Everywhere, evidence. Go right there. Bike sitting in place that she's took. Everybody knows it's her bike because it's a small town. Everybody seen that jacket because her dead husband used to wear it all the time. Let's throw that in the trash can. Did it? Yo. Wow. I swear to God, I can't wait till the prosecution Police, see this. What are you, doing here? you are the most suspicious, the frantic woman alive, man. They're going to ask your daughter, so how was your mama when she pulled up, when she came up to the van you saw while she was frantic and nervous, and she took us home, even though we had to get back to school? She on drugs, man. Somebody call the police. Now this woman finally takes time out of her goddamn busy life robbing banks to go see her child who has a chance of becoming a star on the stupid ass really field because every other kid schedule. sucks. Okay. I didn't and really he shows up. I call the, shots. the woman, the man that's extorting her. Like, yo, you are just, that was a horrible. She did not play goalie at all. And I find that racist that they used a black girl to fucking do that. Nice they just made her stand there and look stupid. I don't nice fuck with play. that, yo. I don't fuck with that at all. I gotta be honest. Anyway, yo, this man is clearly out of pocket. He's out of pocket. He went to this woman's soccer game. I don't know what you're doing, but it ain't right. You need to look in the mirror. This is this is on you, yo. This ain't on her. She doing the best she can. You gave her that $7 mustache. All right, she meeting up with him again. About to see what he need, what she need to do to get down with the get down. She tired of this. You see a house, though. Sell the house. If it's this bad to where you robbing banks and putting your whole family in danger, you're going to jail forever, sell the house, man. 
obviously it's a debt just take care of it get rid of it this man back again stupido I'm like I would ask him like yo where did Tony Montana go you a fake Tony I Montana friend at the knees before I give it to her and all he gonna do is ask her Good. he yo this man need therapy he keep talking about his ex-wife he really got a problem like yo you are you supposed to be a criminal a hard and you, you you know why they say a hard and criminal because they don't give a cluck about what's going on they ain't sitting up there with their new clients that they extorting telling them about their family life asking her about hers how's uh, how's what's going on with you she, she don't like you yo first chance she gets she gonna put you behind bars well i'm just gonna have to take comfort in the knowledge that We'll still be spending some time together. Seeing as Kyle just racked up a whole fresh batch of losses. Got to give it to the betting on the Spurs. Turn his luck around. And you sitting there liking like them. them. You keep helping them money. with this debt. You must like her robbing more banks so you can pay off this debt that you like giving this boy because you know he's trash at gambling. You the worst, man. You the worst. Oh, just. Uh, just a young woman walking to this bar. She ain't even high school yet. She ain't even legally old enough being there. And how do you, where is she going? What type of bar is this? You going through the back? There's only one entrance to this place? She, yo, she a real snooper. That's what she is. She a snooper. She should not be in there. That place should be shut down. And you know why it's so dumb and lackadaisical? You know because it's ran by that dumbass fake Manolo. But Patolo. That's what I call him. He is a fool, boy. Why Why is you setting up like this? You got one entrance. And you got one security guard that does not check nothing. So now you in here illegally looking at your addicted brother. Can't help himself. He going all the way with his fucking... You got two and a seven. Think he about to win all his money back and set the family up straight and show everybody that he ain't a failure but he's just as dumb as you thought he was this idiot loses like everyone knew so now she takes him out he walks out like a fucking fool very gently now the dummy in the back like hey he's leaving with the money that i knew he couldn't pay me back with so now he go outside and try to track him down. On, Look at them. They so quick. Now he's running. I don't understand. You just you were just asking this man if you could get read up on some more money. You were playing the game all day. Your sister tap you on the shoulder and now you bounce. I'm telling you, like you a fiend, actually. Aces has got you like this. Them jacks and queens has done this to you. Yeah, she get back home to find out that this fucking idiot has left a dress in her house. That's the dress he want her to wear. He 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 a fashion designer now. He a stylist. This boy is weird, yeah. And and he just sent her a text. Quinlan, that's his name. Quinlan. He just sent her a text. They're gonna use that. That's evidence. That's traceable. I'm like yo, she is not feeling you, yo. You cannot extort. Hi, honey. Her drawers off. Is that what you're trying to do? Morning. How can anyway, I help she you? back at that old bank again. You know they always come back to the the scene of the crime. They got to. She trying to check her balance now. Trying to see what she got after all her hard work. It's funny she robbed the only bank in town. The system acting up, huh? She like. Oh, she got to talk to her manager. Let's let's go see who her manager is. Excuse me, Negro. Get the hell out of the way. Let me talk to the manager. I think that this racist ass move. Excuse me, Bob. I don't know why you hired that guy. Look, this woman's so nervous. She's so nervous. She see two people talking just because her the computer's messed up. So she bounced immediately. That's not suspicious at all. Not the same height, same build as the as the criminal two days ago. I think mom's doing something crazy to protect you. I know, she's been meeting with Quinlan. No, it's not just that. I think Mom's the one that's been robbing those banks. Look, she's snooping around. She finally disclosed what she knows. She she thinks it. That's, Mom's that's robbing crazy. banks now. Look at all the information she got. Child. Look at all the examples. Look, she injured her shoulder. 
death coat went missing. I already know that the insurance didn't go through. And your bike. She ain't playing, yo. She been snooping around this whole time collecting She's evidence. A bank robber. She makes cash. And this rolls, idiot. Right? He just listened to her run down all these goddamn reasons why she is a bank robber. And, and this dummy can't see it. And of course he couldn't see it because he's a fool. He's an imbecile. No one should ever trust his judgment nor his decision making. He should be put into rehab. He has a serious problem. If you have a gambling addiction problem, I'm putting the number up here. She back in the back, try to feed a family, try to take care of a stupid ass son. Look at her. Same belt, same hat, same face, same backpack. I'm, yo, I, I don't understand it. I don't understand. You wouldn't switch it up. You wouldn't go to a different town. She is in the same town, her town. Anyway, of course, her daughter showed up. Right, right in the midst of things, your daughter shows up to halt you from a bank robbery. What is she going? What is she supposed? What was, what was she going to do when she got in there? Luckily, she came right out. What are you doing here? Mom, let's go. Oh Lord, who's that man? Oh, that's going to be revealed in a second. She shuffles her away. Now you are an accomplice. I want you to know that you're an accomplice now. Oh, she ain't ride a bike this time. All right, she pulls up. I want you to know, during this whole time, uh, the fake thug, the fake wise guy, he's after him. During this whole time. And all everything's about to be revealed right now about how she's getting away with everything. Why everything's working so smoothly for her. Uh, when that white privilege really kick in. It's the FBI. They've been tracking this woman the whole time. They've been on her. Since day one, because she's so stupid. The Wait, first time she robbed the bank, they were on her. They know everything about it, but they didn't know who this guy was. Kyle. What is wrong with this whole situation? Okay, this shows a lot about the government, the local government, and everything. Their competence is zero. All right. He is always in the open. He is always being seen. I, I don't think that's how the FBI does it. She had to do, and she might have gotten away with it if we weren't already watching the poker room. I'm sorry. What did you just say? She almost would have got away with it if you weren't already watching the poker room. How? How could she have almost gotten away with it if she if you weren't already on with the poker room? Who? I can't believe it. The whole town knew where the illegal activity was coming from. If there was any illegal activity going on in this town, they knew exactly where it was coming from. The man who shows up and extorts young women, widowed wives at the daughter soccer game. Everybody knows. This is easy police work. Shut, uh, open and shut case. It's him. 8 p.m. outside the house. This man is a creep. You look beautiful. Thanks. You look Careful. like you're going to of jail, course. you idiot. Anyway, he's a, she job. told him, this is the last time. Let me just work out the, my debt some other way. He's like, no, my interest went up. Like, what does that mean? Your interest went up. Why are you doing this to me? You want me to rob banks for you so I can pay your interest? Rate? And then in the next sentence, yeah, but this is this will be your last job. What is, again, then he hands it a blicky. Again, you're going to need this. All right. The blicky is needed for this mission. She, she definitely know. grabbed it. Soon. He just gave it a gun. And he hasn't told her where she's going to need it yet. But just know you're going to need it. And look out for, for the coordinates like a video game. I'll call you anytime and let you know what bank to rob. <laughs> I love how she's just playing with the gun right before her daughter gets into the car. The Glock 19. She got that 227 on deck right in the middle just in case anything happened. They try to slide. She don't even know her mother be sliding while she be in there trying to learn her moves on the soccer field. Is that even legal for her to have the gun that, that somebody gave her as an informant? Would the FBI allow that? I have no idea. She told her to be cool at school today while she has an FBI agent walking around with her. She going into the locker room for no reason. He don't know her schedule. He looking around like, 
<laughs> for an angry teen, I guess. This is the weakest FBI agent in the history. He's supposed to be protecting this woman after using all his years of experience and knowledge and training and know-how. And now he gone. Huh? He went for a break, had to get a brewski. Huh? Had to do his, his jumping jacks or something. Now look, she don't know what to do now. She don't got she don't got her protection, her security gone. So she, you know what she got to do. She got to snoop because she a snooper. She go check the car. Let's see where. She knew he parked there. Let's see where, where, where Mr. Jim was. Hey, Mr. Jim, where you at? You get what you get. Now she finds herself in the back of a vehicle, tied up, foolishly. Not really that tied up. You see her legs is free. She could bust that window out and really cause a disturbance. That knot looks very weak. That is a tiny Tim knot. I don't know my knots. I think there's like six different knots. But she ain't got the wisdom or know-how to get through that. He finally caught up with him. He's tired of it. He's tired of the debts. His interest is sky high and he needs it place? now. He's not, he cannot take one more second of this abuse that he's been through financially and emotionally. Look at this man's hanger. He has all this. And you think the FBI ain't watching you in your small town you got? This man has a baked oven in his head and ain't nothing cooking. I can tell you that for a fact, boy. He, he is now kidnapping. When he could have just... He did all of this on his own. He put these people into debt. And now he knew that they were so far into debt. So now he went to go after them when they couldn't pay their debt. And now he's kidnapping now. But it doesn't matter. Boy, you getting... I can hide you getting, my money in places with yeah, I gotta say, that you getting the book thrown at you, man. It does matter. Because now I have to go. I have to leave my son. All because you betrayed me. This man has access to a helicopter. I, I don't understand. This man is really, I guess, the man in this town. He is really the evil criminal so this in this town. He is the yeah, Tony Montana of this town and i don't know if y'all know but the other story is her two agents said there they were supposed to be following them and keeping an eye on them they're both dead they both are trash they are not agents anymore oops look bargaining chip remember why did you bring her downstairs then he was about to keep her off of his daughter but then he let her stay with her daughter like yo this man is so confusing yo he deserves he deserves everything he gets he deserves it because he don't know what he she pulled it out she pulled that motherfucker out oh, quick a little blink of the eye boy she bought the david blaine this nigga you me <laughs> man she was really about to get that man that pie in the face but why wouldn't she have checked that the gun was loaded wouldn't the fbi have checked that the gun was loaded oh he oh look at that Yo, gave it that Jeff Jarrett for the old school fellas out there. Don't piss me off. Nigga, you got, yo, are you telling me your bodyguard, your one bodyguard that you pay lots of money for, that you, you got so much money you can keep a airplane equipment, but uh, this 13-year-old soccer player that's not that good gets away? And now you begging to get into the plane that you own? This is all wrong, man. Yo, this is like the end of the Star Wars. He called her a brat. Oh, that's what she gets. That Barry Bonds. Uh, that Bobby Nickel. Right into the back of your head. Nick, yo gets up with the strength. In the, look at that. Yo get up so strong. And tells his man to shoot him. Why, at this point, why don't you... Where your gun at, dummy? You are the worst boss in boss history. Legally and illegally. And you put your hands up immediately. Okay. You got all those planes, those airplanes, and you ain't getting one of them. This is what you deserve, this whole movie. I'm, I'm clapping right now for this moment. You get into that sheriff car of this unknown town, even though the FBI arrested you. And this is an FBI sting. You get into the sheriff car. Now, was that not a dumbass movie? 
Was that not stupid and foolish and irrelevant to anything going on in life? That's what I like, man. Because it was fun and it was exciting. And I got a lot out of it. I, you know, I ain't going to lie. My, I wish my mom robbed banks, you know. My mom just went to the grocery store. <laughs> Alright, thank you. Like and subscribe. Hit me on the IG. Call your mom back. Make something for dinner. Puzzling, if you will. I like to speak out during the movie. What ifs, whys, and wills. That's what I like to do, and maybe some of you do too. And I find that some of the best movies are some of the movies you can do that to. Yeah, it's cool to watch a movie and get all the goodness out of it. Wow, that was a great movie and I learned a lot. But it's nothing like being engaged, being outrageous, being frustrated, being happy, being sad, and voicing your opinion all at the same time. And I feel like dumb movies provide that for me.